it's very nice to meet you, even if it's uh, only via Skype. That's okay. It's, <laughs> it's a relationship these days. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now, tell me, how did you get into writing? Uh, first of all, I am speaking to an Olivier Award winning writer. Yeah, I hope you're kneeling. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> how does that feel? I mean, I think there are probably people throughout you know, the, the industry that would love an award like that and dream of it. Is this something that you ever had on your radar? Mm, not really, no, no, no. I, you'd go mad if you just did it for the, you know, <laughs> the awards, because actually you can't, you know, they don't cuddle you at night and they don't give you jobs. <laughs> they're, they're useless, really. Pencil. So they're, Railway Children is still running, yeah? Yeah, 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 it yeah. It must be so exciting to have, to have seen this... this um, show that I suppose started out small and just grew? Um, yeah, it was a weird one, but it was kind of always a bit blessed. It just, it was one of those shows that sh really should not have worked. Right. But just, just did. did. And yeah. when they do, they just go, don't they? They just do. And, yeah. and you know, from day one, I, don't, I mean, I think it is the show that we made mm. in 2007 with very little change. And mm. And, yeah, we did it because we did it at the National Railway Museum in New York mm -hmm. with the real train, etc. Mm -hmm. But the tech rehearsal, I, I vividly remember the first show because the, the, the actors, they started on the Monday morning to do this tech for a show that was going to open on the Friday. And for a normal show, that would not be you know, the question. fine. But... We had a train, a real train, and everything moved, and they were running up and down platforms. So they performed to an audience on the Friday afternoon, never, I mean, never. ever having really run it since they had the Monday morning. And some of the things they were doing, they hadn't done since they'd done on the Monday morning. And I was looking at them thinking... That's a, that's a theatre story. Maybe there's a lesson in there, you know, don't work with children or animals or trains. Yeah, or trains, <laughs> yes. Although the train did us proud, actually. <laughs> in the end. In now, the end, the train did us proud. Moving on, we're to here yeah. to talk about your new work, which is Underneath a Magical Moon. Yeah. Sounds beautiful. And it's the story of Peter Pan, yeah? But it's, it is. It's a sweet. retelling. It is. It's a retelling from Wendy's point of view. I would like to claim, claim credit, credit for the idea, but it wasn't mine. It was um, Wendy Harris, who's the artistic director of Tutti Frutti, and um, sort of obviously, really, because of her name. Because yeah. the name Wendy was invented by J.M. Barry for the book, for the play, Peter Pan. And, uh, and she's always had a relationship with, with the Wendy character, obviously, because she carries the name. And, um, and we were talking about it, and, uh, I mean, Peter Pan's a work of bona fide genius. Yes. Like, you know? Um, and for me, because I write a lot of plays for children, the fact that it started its life as a play and not a book... Interesting. ...is fantastic. And he, J.M. Barry, grasped the kind of... the way in which kids play out potential gender roles. Mm. And so you've got Peter Pan and the Lost Boys all being warriors, and Wendy being recruited as the mother, you know, and she takes it on mm. brilliantly. She tells them stories, she sends them to bed, she feeds them, she <laughs> gives them medicine, you know. She's, uh, she, she, she makes, there's, there's a point where they're being made to walk the plank mm. and she has this wonderful speech about empire and just sends them off to die, you know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just brilliant. And, and, but we kind of thought there are more options these days mm -hmm. for women than motherhood. Not that motherhood is a bad thing, you know, but, you know, there's more to life than motherhood. So that's kind of what what I'm playing with. Okay. <laughs> um, hearing you, well, watching you talk about it, I'm reminded of what happens when people often talk about children's theatre or theatre in general, mm -hmm. is they get very animated. It's <laughs> what, what is it like writing for children's theatre uh, in relation uh, as against uh, adult theatre? Yeah, good one. I have written for adults. Uh. Um, though actually my just straight out adult plays tend to be about childhood, you know? Right, there you go. So it's clearly an obsession. But I, I've always kind of existed at the edges. Like I've done large scale community pieces, you know, where you're writing for hundreds, you know? And I 
kind of followed this track. I've written for learning disabled companies. I worked a lot with Grey Eye, who are just you know disabled actors or using um, uh, incorporating audio description, etc. So um, I I don't write conventional plays really. I don't exist in the ecology, which is write a play, cast it, put it on. I find it very. Um, Oh, I don't know. Bourgeois in all the worst senses. Right. You know, I'd rather be in a non-theatre space, or if I'm in a theatre space, I'd like to be shaking it up a bit. Sure. It's where I come from, you know. I, yeah. I kind of started off, you know, in, in the in the way distant fringes, and I still live and work a lot in the north, which is like, you know, mm. <laughs> it's like being on another planet anyway. <laughs> Well, all of your cast of characters and Peter Pan people will be heading out on tour. Uh, good luck yeah. with it. Uh, it must be Thank very you. exciting. Uh, what stage are you at? Uh, we're in the second week of rehearsal. Okay. Uh, I'm still doing a few small rewrites. Changes and things. But, uh, yeah, we've got another full week of rehearsal before we go into uh, tech and stuff like that. But it's quite... Um, because there's only three of them in it, and they, they're they kind of multi-talented. They play instruments, they sing, they dance, they act. Mm -hmm. They probably do other things as well, actually, but they, are, they haven't had time to show me those. Um, it, it's, it's a concentrated, you know, there's still, still a lot of work to do. Well, but all it, the very best with it, and as it, as it, as it uh, tours out, we'll hope to see it in town sometime. Yeah, hopefully it will be yeah. down. I don't know where it's coming. I, I should check the... Uh, I should check the tour. Anyone who's interested should check the website and see all the dates because you'll be all over the place. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Go. Okay. Bye.